You want to stay up to date with the latest technology, especially if you work in Silicon Valley. That's why some hookers are now using Square to accept payments to their phones and possibly iPads. That's great. We used to have hookers with a heart of gold, and now we have hookers who are just filled with technological heart lust. Of copper, heart gold of plated, copper, gold plated hearts. Graphene, I don't know. Graphene's good. That would be, nice. be the best one. We like graphene. But I think that's kind of cool. Like, okay, they're, they're calling it mainly consulting when that's what it's filed with Square as. But yeah, I love that the, these uh, sex workers consider themselves a small business, mm -hmm. which for all intents and purposes they are. Um, they're using this technology, this app, to facilitate transactions with their clients. Now, prostitution has been on the rise in Silicon Valley, according to CNN. Prostitution arrests went up to 35 percent, went up 35 percent mm -hmm. from 2010 to 2011 in San Jose. You know, guys working in tech, they make a good living. Why not hire a hooker or two and then slide your card on her square <laughs> reader? This story has just the slightest dig at these, what I guess they're inferring to as nerds. They have a lot of money, they have no social skills, so obviously they want to no. hire hookers. Uh, that's just the undercurrent that's that I'm getting That's just men, from this. okay? Yeah. Men, <laughs> turns out men like to hire or like to have sex, and sometimes they're willing to pay for it. I don't think that's a nerd thing, I think that's a dude thing. Oh, well, I mean, Kim, you're always paying for it. It's just sometimes you have a little app that makes it much, much easier. Okay. Usually you have to do... Are you talking about dating? Yeah. Okay. Dinner, dancing, movies. All right. Is it safe to say that this could be like a security measure for prostitutes because you're using credit cards now, not cash. You can't really follow cash. But with credit cards, I mean, that information has to go somewhere. It, like in terms of like blackmail or, or what? L whatever. Blackmail? <laughs> I don't know why you'd be blackmailing a prostitute. I mean, blackmail could be on the reverse side, though. Well, like, like if a prostitute wants to say, I have your credit card info, but yeah. you don't really get to keep the credit card info with Square. That's, there's a measure in place there where yeah, you don't but steal credit card information. There's a paper trail. Like you could say, well, clearly your credit card was charged for my consulting firm, and we all know what that is now. So, but then she's incriminating herself. My question, well, yeah, obviously. By calling but her consulting, prostituting. That, that's probably like a, okay, we've arrested this prostitute. Mm -hmm. Now give us the name of some of your Johns and we'll go easy oh, on you. Oh, so that's like her client list in yeah, a way. Yeah, exactly. My question is, if you were going to this, you know, prostitute, and then at the end of it, she pulls out this app and you have to pay with a credit card, would you be willing to do that? I'm sure she tells them ahead of time, right? I, I mean, I guess, and I assume they still accept I'm sure you have to pay cash. ahead of time as well. Yeah. That's it's usually how the whole game. thing goes. I don't goes. really know how paying and deciding costs work. I also don't know <laughs> about that. So that's something to look into in the future. All right.